Hello and welcome back to another episode of Ark Fjorder. Uh, today we uh, have some good news. Finally, after all this, after so much searching, we have a high enough level of Velanosaur that I feel like I feel comfortable attempting to tame it. Now, before I do that, I'm going to first uh, try and get it into a slightly more. Or, eh, he's fine right there. I mean, if she walks off the cliff, she walks off the cliff. We'll deal with that as it comes. Just gonna kill off this one here. Getting rid of that one because that one could become a problem later. Okay, we have Allosaurs over there. I'm gonna go get rid of them too. Got Allosaurs in an RG. And now, normally I wouldn't bother with them, but because they're Allosaurus, they can inflict bleed. And if they. Uh, if there's any creature that would mess with this tame, it would be them. And the last thing I want is to be caught unawares while having to deal with that. So, uh, we're not going to. And I, I'm doing this while I'm breeding up Dinotherium and, uh, and the like. Ah, I'm even missed. Okay, I actually probably sort of sw should have switched to the Megalania first, but, you know, we take it as it comes. Okay, that should be fine. I, I don't care about what he does as long as, it as long as she stays on me. Put Camo away. These things don't take a whole lot to knock out, so... Yep, you can already see. Maybe three, four more bites. I was also looking for another Megalania. I haven't seen one yet. Here, what I'm gonna do... What the f really? I'm gonna get around the other side, so if she starts running, uh, she'll try and run the other direction, hopefully. So we just got her kind of flanked on this side. Where are you going? You, uh, you gotta stand there, buddy. And, um, oh. I don't have any prime or mutton. That's okay, we can get it. I swear to God, if that, if that was a glitch and mess with this tame, I'm gonna be pretty mad. But it does not look like that is the case. Let's just double check. Yep, should be fine. Okay, let's go get some prime meat. I am very happy to have finally gotten that, hopefully. I mean, if it stays d doesn't stay down, I'll just knock it out again. Not a big deal. Well, isn't that convenient? Sup, buddy? I would apologize, but I'm not sorry in the least. You, uh, by the way, if you find yourself enjoying the content and you want to see more, hit that like button and consider subscribing to the channel. Ugh. Alright, get this. You just... Yep. 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 Oh no, you're bleeding me out. Whatever will I do? Wait, what? Okay, that was a little worrisome. Okay, I only got eight prime for that. I might go back and get some mutton, I don't know. Uh, depends on how long this tame is gonna take or uh, how long she's gonna be KO'd for. I think they stay out for quite a while. Uh, we're gonna go find out. <laughs> Yeah, I was like, oh, I'll just go see if there's some Velanosaurs nearby. I found one, and I found her in a spot where I'm, like, very concerned about the fact that... As you can see, I have more than enough food if you can see my hot bar down there. I <laughs> have a lot of meat. A lot of pieces of meat there. Okay. Yeah, I could probably get back 
with more food for you. Hmm. Mm hmm. Okay. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, I'll I'll be back with uh I'll be back with some mutton from my base. It's not that long of a flight. So yeah. Uh I will see you guys in a sec. Alrighty, we're back. Um yeah, not only went to get mutton, I also paused the game so I could get myself a glass of water because it's hot. Uh and also my cat demanded attention, so unfortunately. Um being that he is a cat and it is going from summer to fall and he's having and he's uh he's doing some shedding oh okay okay level 209 uh that's hmm one off of perfect if i'm not mistaken You can have that. Ooh! Melee is not bad. Everything else, unfortunately, is not very good. Oops, sorry, I just, uh, boot my headset right there. Because I'm trying to... I'm not allergic to cat hair or anything, but, um, as I mentioned, Charlie is, uh, is shedding at the moment, so... Um... You know how it is. It's uh, and when he wants to head rub, um, yep. I really need to name, man. I really need to name that Megalania. Why did I do that? Why did I just put all of that into my... Oh, well. Okay, so we've got our first Velanosaur, and it's definitely uh, good enough to be usable. So that's a good sign. So I'm going to look around and see if I can find another one that's uh, good enough leveled. And if, uh, if there is one, I will attempt to tame it as well. Uh, I think I should have enough mutton for the job. Oh! But honestly, that's very refreshing. After all this uh, trouble with this area, I finally got a high-level Velanosaur to spawn. <sighs> that actually brings me to something I wanted to talk about because someone asked in the comments. It's like was asking about like how do you get the acro to spawn, or where do you look for them? And the acro is an Arcaditions modded creature. But on the Fjorder map, it should spawn wherever there's, like, some flat surfaces. So, theoretically, you could have one spawning here, maybe. Uh, I don't... I do, I've never seen it happen, but it could. Um, I think flat open grassland is what you're looking for. Is that a ruin back there? Why, yes, it is. I never noticed that. Give me. Now, I probably shouldn't have grabbed that because it's Kamazots doesn't need it, but. Oh well. Oh, that's a Magnosaur down there. Uh, I know where to get the eggs for them, but uh, I've just avoided it because, you know. Because of the incident with the corrupted save file. We'll do it. We will do it, but uh, not yet. Oh, oh, okay. Nah, I'm not going to be a dick. <clears throat> but yeah, I'm just going to keep my eye out for any more of them. There were a couple down here, but they were definitely too low level. Okay, we got another one over here. Near an Arthroplura. I thought I killed this one already, so... Yeah, level 95. Not good. Not good enough. Hold on, what? Okay, for a second it looked like that Megalania was just walking up nothing. <laughs> Gotta love Ark. But, uh, yeah, um, 
getting acros to spawn, although I do re I did respond in the comments, it, it brings up something I wanted to talk about. And that is, you know, sometimes the struggle of getting the right creature at the right level to actually appear is a real pain. Um, if you're Even if you're looking in the right area, sometimes just other things will spawn more commonly, so it'll be much harder to notice it. And, you know, that's just the way it goes. Oh! We got a 145 female. And a male that's level 90. Man. Are we gonna have the same issue that I... Oh! That I've been having with the Dinotherium, where it's just like... Finding a... Finding a male... Finding the right... The other gender at a good level... Is just not gonna happen. Man, that is a ballsy Bolanosaur over there taking on that guy like that. Um, okay. You make sure I, uh, get the right one. This area looks safe enough, but, um... I'm just gonna kill this man real quick. Gotta make sure not to... Get in the get in the crosshairs of the other one. Once again, I made a little mistake there. What I really should have done was uh, you summon the Megalania first. Thrown out my Pokeball. Bam. I'm just gonna. You sh if you let it build up over twenty seconds, it builds up more. But since there's stuff down here, I don't want to have to deal with. I'm going to try and get it to go to work as quickly as possible. We're also going to engage from down here. Ooh, I definitely should have killed this other one. Oh, okay. All right, cool. Oh, God, I look like a pin cushion. Okay, good. He got, he got the trike. The trike's on him. Man down. Well, woman down, technically. Oh, fuck. Uh-oh. We've got a Rex. Okay, in this case, I'm going to put the Prime and the Mutton in, just in case. And then I'm going to go over there and take out that Rex. That's a problem, because that'll come over here and that'll definitely mess things up real good. Oh, and there's Charlie. Yep, so I'm going to pause the game and go let him out. Alrighty, we're back. Uh, okay. Okay, she's down. She's got her food. Let's go take care of these. Let's go take care of these chumps. Bye, have a great time. <laughs> the bat just comes in. <laughs> just comes in with the quickness. Boom, done. <laughs> Okay, yep, uh, she's gonna need... Yeah, she'll be fine on mutton. But yeah, it's good that we're getting high-level ones to spawn. And that brings up the issue of dino wiping. And I want to point out that my only... Is that there are situations where I think it's definitely warranted. And one of those is... Mm, excuse me. The hell? Oh, never mind. That was my cat using the litter box. I was like, what was that sound? <laughs> Still under the effect of the bite. Um, as the bite's timer does both... I think it actually stacks, so... Okay, give me back my items. Okay, what are you? Are you good? Ooh! Better health than the other one does. Yeah. Oops. 
That's the mutton. <laughs> better health, better melee. Uh, not exceptional by any stretch of the imagination, but certainly not bad. Literally the exact same stamina. <laughs> Damn it. And that stamina isn't awful, awful. It's just not that good. And actually, I think... Um, Velanosaurs are one of the few creatures where you do want a very high stamina and a very high, um, and going for stamina mutations actually makes some kind of sense there because, um, that way you can actually get it high enough so that they don't tucker out, tire. Oh! Got another one right through. That one's pretty. Level 90! Trash. We take out the trash in these parts. What was it Uncle Owen said in Obi-Wan? Um, I kill vermin on my farm or something like that. I, I don't remember what it was exactly, but I remember laughing at... Whoa! I forgot about that. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see if we can find some more. I need to find a male. Watch, I'm not going to be able to find one. It's not going to show up. <laughs> There's not going to be a good male. We got two Rexes here. But I'll just continue my story, I guess. Um, the whole point... I'm not above dino wiping, especially uh, after an event ends or when one is about to begin. <clears throat> like, in those situations, I'm okay with it. I'm fine with it when there's... Um, I'm also fine with it if something looks like it's wrong with the spawns. Like, I ended up doing it once before, uh, before the save got corrupted because of the fact that the basilisks appeared to be over-spawning. Like, they were just everywhere. There was two in every area. Uh, and while they do double spawn here, I, it no longer appears to look like they're just going absolutely crazy with it, which is just fine with me. But... Yeah, my, my point there was there are certain situations where I think it's okay. I don't, uh, I, I can't advocate, if you're, if you're doing a let's play or you're playing with others, don't be that guy and dino wipe just to make the thing you want to appear, appear on the off chance that it will. Um, and that's the same reason I don't normally advocate using a spawn in this creature. It's like, you, you could do it, and if all else fails, if you've just been wasting hours and hours and hours and hours of time searching in that situation, I'd be okay with it. Or in the case of what happened to me with the corrupted save file, where I lost an animal, um, and that animal didn't respawn. It, it didn't reappear in the wild for me to tame it again. And after looking around for, uh, I don't even remember how long, but it was quite a while... Um, it didn't reappear, uh, and I went, I have unfairly lost this creature because the game got, the game corrupted, uh, and it's not my fault, it's nothing I did, the creature didn't die, it, it just disappeared due to that, and that to me is unfair, so I spawned it back in, in order to recover my losses. Now, the problem I had with that was that it wasn't quite the same creature, so it felt a little dirty, but that is what it is. That's just the way the mechanics work. Um, and that's fine. And in those situations, I'm absolutely okay if you want to do that. Like if any, or, and again, play the game the way you want to play it. If you're okay using those codes, I personally am not. Um, I use them when the situation calls for it. That's why they're there. They're not there for you to cheese the game. They're there for you to get out of you know, situations when the game fails. Like, they're called admin codes because that's what part of the admin's job on a server is if something bad happens, you gotta be able to take care of it. Oh! Not bad, not bad. Am I gonna have to tame a deer now? I mean, I already was. But, Megalosser is highly underrated herbivore, in my opinion. Especially with Kraken's better dinos on it. Um... But, yeah, there are situations where I'm okay using the admin commands, and because that's the point. That's what they're there for. They're there when emergencies and failure and critical failures happen so that you can address the situation. Like, ghost, you get stuck in the world or something. You get stuck in an area. You can't get out of it. Um, and you just, what do you do? Do you just restart hours of progress because you can't move anymore? 
or do you slash ghost and get out of that spot that you're stuck in or slash fly you know um <clears throat> as long as you're not whizzing around the map or through every object you know you're just using it for that that's that's fine with me you know <laughs> as long as you're not gary's mod v v clipping through the through the map <laughs> just <laughs> trolling a Trolling all the dinosaurs by aggroing them and phasing into a rock. Uh, into a rock like, oh, you can't hit me. <laughs> you can't hit me. <laughs> Be pretty great. Um, but, yeah, no, I, I'm not... I'm in favor of them existing and being used when they're needed. I don't like uh, abusing them. <clears throat> especially not on... Um, especially not for, for this particular playthrough where, you know, it's a let's play. You know, it's it's like I'm putting this footage out there. I want to try and be as legit as possible. So, um, female eighty-five. There's another one. Level fifty. <sighs> Man. <laughs> yep. Insert that uh, Grand Theft Auto meme. Ah, shit. Here we go again. Although I think it's the opposite problem. I've got too many good females. But yeah, I need a male and I need a high stamina one. <clears throat> higher than this. Like, higher than this. Because this is a creature I'm definitely going to use to at least aid in boss killing. Not to mention, just for the memes. Just for some memes. There is, I, as I've said, I've got plans that require Velonosaur and Brontosaur. So, I have the Brontosaur and it is perfect colors for what I want to do. Like, I think you guys are going to love that particular building project. If only for how absolutely absurd it's going to be. <clears throat> but yeah, that's my take on using the admin codes. There are there when when the situation calls for it to resolve a problem that can't be resolved in game, go for it. Now, certain codes like the uh whoop Oh. Certain codes like... <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh my god. I'm blanking. Um, I Alright. I can't remember it. I'm not gonna bother. <laughs> I remember there was one that I read about. And I, I read all of them because if the situation arises that I need to use them, they're there. You know? As it should be. Wait, what the... What? Oh, he's level 20. I don't know what... Oh! Oh, that almost turned very bad very fast. I like how mine is blue on a map full of red things. But then there's a lot of blue stuff here. Okay, but... Can we just take a moment and imagine what an R... What an R Basilisk would be like? That'd be awesome. Especially since there are our Reapers, which sadly are not on this map. There are no Reapers on this map. That does make sense, as the Reaper is sort of implied to be, like, one of Rockwell's uh, actual creatures. <clears throat> like, it's something that he himself made. At least I believe so. Certainly the Nameless are, um, but they have a connection to Reapers and they can summon them, so I don't know. But the Rock Drake, uh, well no, the Rock Drake existed before they did the, or, or after, I don't remember. Um, hmm. Whoa! Okay. Because I have to go look at the timeline again to see when Mei Yin arrives. Because her, she gets her Rock Drake uh, and her Ravager pretty soon after. <clears throat> Mei Yin is badass enough that she gets to knock do a knockout tail on, on the Rock Drake while the rest of us have to steal eggs. What is up with that? But that actually brings me to one of my other points. Is... 
how the game... Hmm, excuse me one second. Well, the game actually has little, um... Oop. You know, I just thought of something. What I could do is tame a low-level male and try and get all the right stats. <clears throat> but generally, that's not a good idea. Because the male, because there's still two stats that I would like to see a little bit better, and that is, I could go for some higher melee on these things, and I could go for some higher, um, some definitely some higher stam. Like, this is the one creature where stamina matters. Or one of them, yeah. Stamina always matters on flyers, but... Granted, that's only if you're flying them. Hmm... Okay, so I think I'm going to cut away and see if we can find one, um, and then when I do, I'll continue my story. Uh, it's basically going to go into the lore of Ark a little bit and why there are so many predators, and how little sense that actually makes. <clears throat> Not in terms of narrative, but in terms of realism. But yeah, I'll be back. Alrighty, and the good news is we're back. The bad news is the one that I found is... Oh, uh-oh. All right, we're going to engage that real quick. Okay, see, now the, <laughs> now the animation works. All right. Oh, what? Okay, we're just gonna like let that let that build up a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and get behind her again so she can't just run away. You know, you back up, fight. Just let it build up. Also, there's a chance even if she aggroes, she'll go right for Kamazots, which is just fine. Kamazots is on passive, so that shouldn't be an issue. Uh, if Kamazots is not on passive, that is an issue because uh, rip, <laughs> rip Velanosaur. Uh, again, this is unfortunately yet another female. Uh, not what I was hoping for, but you take what you get, you know? I may have to do the male in a different episode, but uh, we will try. I'll keep trying a little bit longer. But I'm definitely going to tame this one up. Oh, oh. Just, yeah, oh, oh, no, no, we don't want her going that way. Come on. And the... Uh, and the... Uh, Alright, well... I got no catchy one-liner for that one. We're done. <laughs> Out like a light. So if I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna need to go back and get more mutton. Really? You pick now to be hungry? Seriously? All right, my health took a beating earlier from looking inside the, um... Because we were in the hot spring area, so I took a little bit of damage from that. That explains why my foods dropped so rapidly, is that I, uh... Is that that was a thing. Okay, you've got levels. More melee! I need to get another Megalania as well, because an imprinted one would just be amazing for this. But yeah, good news is we are getting good levels to spawn. The bad news is uh, they are all female. That's not necessarily a bad thing in and itself. If absolutely necessary, I could just... Any male will do as long as I can get the stats I want onto them. But therein lies the problem is that the game is... A, if I recall correctly, I remember hearing somewhere that the game does like to give the lower stat... Give a higher chance of the lower stat passing on than anything else, so. Alright, she's up. And she does have the same amount of levels of the other one. She was a 140, by the way, if you couldn't tell that. Okay, what are you? Okay, you have better health and better stamina by a solid one point each. <laughs> <clears throat> Okay, no, you do not have better stam. Or better health. You have better... 
you have better stamina by one point. <laughs> one. <laughs> All right. Okay. Well, that happened. Where's my bat? There she is. Uh, but yeah, no, I'm going to cut away once again and keep looking for a little bit longer and hopefully we'll find a male. Uh, if we don't, then I will take us back to base and, uh, we'll start wrapping things up. All right, I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, well, I finally managed to track one of these down, a high-level male. Now, the problem is, I don't know if I can... I may accidentally kill him. I will do everything in my power not to do that, but uh, you can never be too sure with these things. Uh, the problem is he had already sustained damage from the lava and a basilisk, as have I, so we'll see what happens. Hopefully we can, we can get him. I want him to go forward. I want to go away. I want him to go away from the lava. I want him to not walk into the lava. So, are you really? The hitbox on that is kind of stupid. Not going to lie. <laughs> oh, oh, he's mad. Not that way. Oh, great. Okay, well, he... Oh, nope, nope. And he's... Really? What is this? For all the... <sighs> okay. Alright, I'll bring us back when he's either tamed up or dead. I am very frustrated by this. Alrighty, welcome back, and good news, it doesn't actually look like he's taking damage. I went back to get more mutton. I don't understand how this is possible. I don't get how he's not taking damage from that, but... It is what it is. Alright. Let's check his stats real quick. Oh, yep, that... Ugh, damn. Damn. Still nothing great with stamina, but honestly, at this point, I'll take what I can get. He's got pretty good health, so that that is a good start. See what we could do about maybe finding another stamina one, but for now, I would say we have what we need. All right, I'm going to cut away and take us back to base, and then we're going to wrap up the episode with a few base updates. So I'll see you guys then. Alrighty, and welcome back. We are back home at base. Um, one thing I want to point out real quick is that I did use mutton to tame uh, this guy in spite of being fresh out. And uh, that happened once I realized he wasn't taking any damage from the lava. Uh, I just decided, screw it, I'll run back and grab it. Uh, oh my. Oh dear. Uh, alrighty. Uh, okay, I gave him enough meat, but they're still pretty hurt. I don't know why. It's not like anything happened to them. Although they are kind of stuck in the ground here. Ah, that brings me to what I wanted to talk about real quick. Uh, base updates. As you can see, we've finally gotten closer with our acro breeding, so I've stopped the main pair, and I'm going to put them away now. Well, I'm going to keep Papa Smurf out because it's Papa Smurf. You don't, you don't not have that... You don't not have him. So I'm going to put him back in his ball. Uh, what I actually should do, though, is is throw him out. Take his saddle and use it to move these two. So that's what I'm going to do. Oh, nope, that's the wrong one. That's bleat this. <laughs> man, oh man, I was mad about that one. And it's like, I do... I, I would say I get less angry at this game and more frustrated at it sometimes. It just... It is what it is. Bring this guy forward. I'm not giving these two names because they don't need them. Um, the long and short version of it is that these are not the perfect stat individuals yet, but they're very close. I want to try to get a slightly better one. Like, I want to get slightly better ones uh, that have actual perfected stats. And then we'll go from there. Also, I like that the colors have kind of reversed. On the male, he has the blue with the red. 
like Papa Smurf does, but on the female, this one, I think this is the one, yeah, uh, has the deeper blue with the cyan uh, stripe instead. So it's like their color pat patterns have just kind of switched on them. That, and that I really like. That's cool. All the colors have been preserved, and, you know, we're going to go from there. So we're going to have them start a breeding. Like so. I'm going to check my thing to make sure I don't have any... I make sure I have meat. I don't! Absolutely fantastic. Alright, let's fix that. Alright, we're going to put a thousand meat in here. And watch that. It's just watch that start dropping. Look at that. <laughs> so many hungry carnivores. Yeah, I didn't realize this one. Ah, this is the one, as you can see, without even me showing you what the stat is that's mutated. See the black mane versus the bright green ones on these guys? The green and silver ones? That is the uh, that is the health mutation, Andrew Sarkis. We're going to start messing around with that. And the reason I'm doing that with them is that I want them also to do some boss killing. So we'll see how far we get there. Yep, so put that there. Put this here. Uh, I mean, I was going to show you the HP. Right, 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 right. Yeah, this is dragging on a little bit longer than I wanted it to, but, it is, but it's okay. Alright. Let's take a look at those stats real quick. Um... Yeah, you can see right there, it doesn't say it now that she's fully grown, but uh, it does tell you when they're fur when they're babies, or when they're, like, in the thing, I think. It tells you that it says plus two in green next to them, next to whichever stat. So that 34 was normally a 32 on the parents, so... Yeah, HP mutation. Also, I think it believe it is, uh, what was that? I want to say that's region four? Has that like really deep maroon, really deep black, like that that color? Yeah, that's the one. So that's how we know. So yeah, we're gonna be switching that out with uh, these and all that. So that should be fun. Um, let's see. I haven't done anything with these guys yet. Still defying physics over here. Oh, I meant to put him away, and I didn't. But I do have some other news. Some other updates to give. Okay, let's go over here to the thingy. To the completely out-of-place, super high-tech five-screen rig that I've got. <laughs> um... There's our first acro egg. See, this is all of the babies that I hatched from all the previous eggs. And none of them had exact perfect stats, but they were close enough that I wanted to see if I could get one that had the stats I wanted, but it was slightly lower level. Now, what we got right here is another Desmodus baby that doesn't have a, the HP at all. <laughs> yeah, literally has nothing. Um... Okay, and this one is an even better one than this one. Absolutely perfect. Because it's got two stats uh, minus that I don't care about. So it's a slightly lower level. 227 instead of 242. But let's see, because I don't know what these look like. Also, get back in there. Put her at the top so that I don't accidentally delete her from existence. Uh, okay, you go over here. Yeah, I stopped breeding because these two, because they were already on gestation, and I was going to use the 242, and now I don't need to. But let's come over here, because I want to be able to show this off properly. All right, let's see. Let us see for the first time. I'm going to move this out of the way here. You get your tail out of my face. Oh my god, 
it's it's just a baby elephant <laughs> and I love it that's one of the cutest things I think I've ever seen oh that is adorable <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. Love the big ears. Wow. I love the Ark Edition's dinos because they don't just, like... And the same with with the bats. Like, the bats do not actually look... They, well, they do actually look like baby animals. Whereas a lot of the earlier Ark creatures just look... Like, with the exception of things like the Beezel, like the Beelzebufo, as you saw with the actual tadpole... Uh, and this guy right here... Actually, let's put some food in its inventory. There we go. Because it won't eat until it has that. Really? But wow, absolutely freaking cute and already bigger than I am. That's... <laughs> I don't even know what to do with that. Look at the feet. <laughs> so derpy in an adorable babyish way. But yeah, now we can begin to lay our plans to move shop and begin the process of preparing to fight the first main world boss, which is Vela. So that's something to look forward to coming up. Um, I love the feeding animation on these. They're fantastic. This this dinosaur, the Dinotherium, absolutely wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful creature from Arc Editions. But And the... I just want to give him a hug. I just want to hug its trunk. Yep. And I think that is the best note to end this on. So, with that said, this has been TBT, signing off, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Ciao, ciao!